everyone welcome back to my channel my name is Rhoda and I'm a doctor working in the UK and today's video is all about what I eat in a day what we eat and put in our body is so so important and as a doctor a lot of the work we do with patients is all about promoting a healthy lifestyle and that all begins with what we put in our bodies in this video i'm going to show you what i eat all the way from breakfast until dinner and so let's get into the video so we're going to kick off the day with a really healthy breakfast and i like to eat porridge most days I normally use organic porridge oats acacia honey and this is slightly different honey that is milder in taste is very very healthy in terms of nutrients flax seeds also peanut butter i like to use the ones that don't contain any palm oil you always check the ingredients to make sure there's no added sugar or salt and a little bit of strawberry here i'm measuring out a, approximately a cup of porridge oats so enough for about two people um, a little bit of water and a little bit of milk stick it onto the stove and let that simmer away for a little bit i always like to add some cinnamon just gives it a nice little flavor here I'm also adding whole flax seeds. You can ground them, but I like the kind of texture where it's a little bit nutty and a little bit crunchy. Flax seeds are really, really healthy actually. They have lots and lots of benefits. So one of the ones is they are very high in what's called omega-3. And that is something that's associated with kind of lowering our risk of heart disease. So I'm just adding a little bit of salt. I know it is a little bit strange, but I like to mash up my strawberries. Just gives it a nice flavor, makes it taste a bit more jammy. I don't really like whole strawberries in my porridge, which may seem a little bit strange. So I'm just mashing it up here, just adding a little bit of honey. You can put bananas in the porridge and let it cook together. So it makes it naturally sweet. So you don't have to add any sugar or any additional honey, but I'm not really keen on bananas in porridge, so. So I'm here, I'm using peanuts. You can use any other nut butter. I kind of tend to alternate between that and almond butter. And a little bit of yogurt. Again, this gives it a really nice creamy texture. And honestly, this breakfast keeps me full for so long. It's, it's amazing. So for lunch, we're having avocado smoothie and oh my goodness, this is my absolute favorite. Again, it keeps me full for really long and it's really, really yummy. Also, I'm obsessed with avocados. So avocados contain a lot of unsaturated fats, which is the good type of fat and actually helps us lower our cholesterol, reduces our risk of heart disease and so much more. So I'm just adding a little bit of spinach, banana, avocado you can use a whole or half depending on how creamy you'd like it to be and here i'm using a oat milk only because it just makes it taste really nice really nice and creamy i tend to use plant-based milks like almonds and oat milk when it comes to making smoothies gives it that extra kind of depth of flavor how lovely does that look look at that color boom both of my kids are currently asleep. This is literally the only time I get in a day where I don't have any distractions. So I'm making the most of it. I'm currently editing the video that you're watching, guys. And I always make sure I have my daily vitamin D supplements. So for dinner, we are having chicken, pasta and veg. So this is a really, really quick dish. You know, I'm a really big fan of quick, easy dishes that don't take a lot of time and also don't create a lot of dishes. I try and make meals that last us at least two or three days so I don't have to cook every single day. So I'm adding a little bit of diced chicken thigh and then I let that saute away for about 5 to 10 minutes or at least until the chicken is nice and white and is cooked pretty much halfway through. I add all of my spices as you can see or until the tomatoes are nice and soft and everything's pretty much mixed together. And again, 
again i'll probably leave that for about another 10 12 minutes and as you can see it looks really really nice chicken looks pretty much cooked and then i add my pasta and mix everything together add a little bit of the pasta water as well just to kind of moisten things a little bit and then i'm adding all the veg anyway guys thank you very much for watching please like the video subscribe to the channel and i'll see you in the next video